Hi, my friends, it's Miss Katie, and today is a holiday in the state that I live in, Maryland. It is Maryland Day today. We celebrate all things Maryland, my favorite state, and I'm gonna read you a book called B is for Blue Crab. A Maryland alphabet. A is for Annapolis. It is the government seat and our state capital where legislators meet. B is for blue crab that swim in the Chesapeake Bay. Males, males are called Jimmies and female Sallies. That's what the fishermen say. One of my favorite foods. C is for the Chesapeake Bay whose sandy shores are a delight. Its waters are home to crabs and clams where graceful birds take flight. You guys probably are the Chesapeake Bay that borders Virginia too. And that is a Chesapeake Bay Retriever. D is for the Ark and the Dove were the famous ships that brought settlers to Maryland shores. The Dove, which begins with the letter D, arrived along with the Ark in 1634. E is for the Eastern Shore, a place where you can play on the shores of the Atlantic or watch the seal boats sail away. Eastern Shore is one of my favorite places, Ocean City, Maryland. F is for Fort Frederick, begins with the letter F. It was built with a strong stone wall during the French and Indian War. It provided protection for all. Visit historic Glen Echo Park, at, which begins with the letter G. Take a circus ride on the antique horse and find interesting things to do and see. How many of you have been on a carousel where the horses go round and round? H stands for historic battles where brave soldiers, soldiers led the fight during the American Civil War, for which they believe was right. I, you can visit the famous National Aquarium at the Inner Harbor, which begins with I. See animals, birds, reptiles, and fish, fish and watch, watch sharks as they swim by. Think of knights on horses and you come to the letter J, which stands for a sport called jousting. It is the state sport. Marylanders say. Never actually seen jousting in person. Might be kind of interesting to see. Now we come to Francis Scott Key, whose last name begins with the letter K. He wrote a poem in the midst of the battle, which we sing the national anthem today. And Francis Scott Key lived in the city I live in, Frederick. L is for the lighthouse, which guides ships through the night. It warns them with a signal, a constant beam of light. The letter M stands for Muddy Creek Falls, which is a wondrous site where water flows over age-old rocks from an enormous height. On the list of places I want to see. N stands for the U.S. Naval Academy, where students in uniform look so grand as they train to be sailors and midshipmen and prepare to defend our homeland. A special bird brings us to O. The Orioles' colors are bright. With a black hood and breast of orange, he is a beautiful sight. You may have heard of the Baltimore Orioles baseball team. That's what they're named after, the Baltimore Oriole. P is for the Preakness. Jockeys and horses look so fine. Excitement builds and crowd cheers as they race to the finish line. Q stands for Queen Henry. Hen oh my goodness. Queen sta Q stands for Queen Henrietta Maria. A queen of England so grand that a colony was named for her and it became Maryland. The letter R brings us to railroads. The trains are faster to are a faster way to go than traveling on roads and ships, so Maryland built the B&O. The B&O Railroad stands for Baltimore and Ohio. S is for the skipjack who gracefully sails away to pull the dredge for oysters on the Chesapeake Bay. How many of you tried oysters? I like them. T is for Harriet Tubman, a hero in her time. She led black slaves to freedom on the Underground Railroad line. U stands for Johnny Unitas, the greatest quarterback in his day. He won games for Baltimore Colts and really knew how to call the play. V is for a visionary art museum where untrained artists like you and me can display their works of art for all who want to come and see. W stands for watermen. Fishing is their trade. They dredge for oysters in the bay. That's how their living is made. X 
stands for x-rays, which you can get at Johns Hopkins Hospital where medical needs are met. Y stands for Camden Yards, where the Baltimore Orioles play. Although the park is new, it looks like the olden days. Zoo begins with the letter Z. Animals who live at the Maryland Zoo include elephants, monkeys, tigers, and lions. And you can see polar bears, too. Penguins sliding on their bellies. The end. We'll hope you guys like that Maryland alphabet book. Have a great rest of your day, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!